to go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, almost lunchtime, right? Are you hungry? Well, I've got uh, an assistant serving you some nice food. Well, have a try, give it a go, it's gonna be nice. But it's different from our conventional food. Why? It doesn't contain meat, pork chop, chicken, and so on and so forth. But merely rice, veggies, that kind of thing. Um, most of the time, when we encounter that kind of lunch, we'll think of conventional food, but this time, I'm serving you vegetarian meal. Why? Because when we think of climate change, most of the time, we simply focus on policies like Kyoto Protocol, which has expired some time ago, or the Paris Agreement, which has been rejected by Donald Trump. But this time, I'm talking about vegetarian meal, and every one of us can be involved by taking what we eat as seriously as we take climate change. First of all, in a recent assessment by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, it has indicated that, in fact, the contribution of livestock on greenhouse emissions has exceeded that of transportation. And what's more, emissions from the production of beef and lamb, in fact, is 250 times, I repeat, 250 times higher than those from legumes. What I mean by legumes are soya beans, pears, that make up the sushi on our table right now. And when we think of our meal, most of the time it's fast food, fast food, which is now containing in my bag. And why do I propose vegetarian meal this time? Because the proposal I have today is called No Meat Monday. Um, I'm not requiring you to not eating anything or simply vegetarian on Monday. But in fact, choose any day you like within a week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, simply one meal. It can be breakfast, lunch or supper. But this time, you can try out something new. And in fact, the sushi now on your table, I get it from Pack and Shop, and don't tell me it's difficult to get. And if you happen to be going for graduation dinner or a buffet dinner with your family, you can opt for a, a restaurant called Bijar Vegetarian Restaurant, now in the Centennial Campus of Hong Kong U. And you can try out something really delicious at a relatively low cost, and most importantly, you can go green, be vegan, and be the savior of the day. Now, I'll pass on the mic to my partner. So, hello. I haven't equipped you with the rationale behind our plan. So, here I'm going to uh, go to the second part of our uh, plan. That's confidence. So, you might have self-doubt uh, uh, when on your way to, like, environmental protection and combating climate change. So, uh, but I, I'm, I'm here to invite you to, to get your phone with you together. And then let's take a selfie. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Okay, so one, two, three, go. Okay, in a moment I'll post it on post it uh, on Instagram, which I use often, often, and then I'll make making a promise that I I have a vegetarian meal once a week or at least twice a month. So that's a promise, that's a commitment, and that's powerful. So I invite you to do the same after this conference. And then secondly, you might still have some self-doubt and um, re wondering really, really you have the capacity for um, uh, combating climate change. So let, let's take a look at this. This is Jenga, a popular game you might have played with, what we call Tang Tang Deep in Chinese. So I'm going to take some bricks out. Four. And then, so uh, this okay, is just sorry, basically like our... Like our um, I'm going to give you confidence. Every, every one of us counts. Thank you very Thank much. You.